So we're just waiting for Carrie and Dan to show up and in a couple minutes we're gonna transform this porch into a stage. I'm here. Oh, there's Dan Barcy as we speak. Hey, stop. Right out front? Yep. Okay. Oh shoot, I don't think I have a, I forgot my throne. I have to borrow a chair. Oh, throne? Throne, I gotta sit on something. All right, yeah, I got something for you to sit on. Yeah, here's this. <laughs> First things first. Wow. So you stand in the crowd with a sign that says we won't change now. Close to live and not the other way around. Get home before the sun goes down. Down, down, down. No, it's hard to just executive. man I'm a lyricist and I don't even know it there's yeah. gold and then there are misfortunes of uh -huh. the poor mayor shit happens Dan <laughs> Canada Dry. And Volkswagen. Yeah. <laughs> and Reverend Guitars. What a shock. <laughs> we really shouldn't be this close together, should we? Why not? Because uh, we're supposed to be cold. Cold aware. I smell good, but you don't. Uh, it's true. Nice hair, though. Thank you. Stylistics, Carla and Danforth. Is it Chester, Chester and Danforth? That's what you get for a drive to Trenton. <laughs> I drove out from uh, Toronto for a day on the beach, Sandbanks Beach, probably the nicest beach in all Ontario. <clears throat> and um, it was beautiful. It's just a lovely day on the beach. Collected some uh, nice uh, photographs. I took a lot of nice photographs. I will put them online soon. And um, drove back. And as I came to the uh, main drag that runs through Prince Edward County, that about drag? my car made a little tiny shutter. <laughs> and having experienced this this particular sensation before, I knew exactly what it was. I had it? it was a it was a burnt out ignition coil in one of my cylinders. When that engine light starts flashing, I mean they come on all the time, but when it starts flashing, stop your car, stop your car. And uh, I stopped my car, and I called the uh, CAA, and I got towed back to Toronto. But because of COVID nineteen, I could not ride in the tow truck with them, which was a bummer. Did they strap you to the roof? You know, they put it on a big flatbed truck, like an enormous yeah, yeah. flatbed truck. I could have rode in my car, but they don't allow that, right? I guess they don't. I don't know why. They would have put a car on there that weighs twice as much. So what's wrong with me being in the car? Good point. It is a good point. What'd you do? I called you. <laughs> I called you and you did not let me down. When I win the lottery, I'm not going to make it known that I've won the lottery. And I'm going to call all my friends and ask them for favors. Ask them to lend me a couple of hundred bucks. And we're going to see who comes through. I'm in. I'm in. And then the ones that don't, they don't get the windfall get of, of, of me having won the lottery because I'm a generous guy. So when Carrie wins 100 bucks at the lottery, you're entitled to at least 15 of it. Woo! My wife gave Steve a free haircut. My wife. Hairstylist. Stylistic salon, Chester and Danforth in Toronto. Been in business for 23 years, has survived the COVID pandemic and come back on top. And uh, she gave Steve a free haircut.
Dog face. Dog face. I'm gonna pee on your deck. <laughs>